Enjoy it. Woo, that was <laughs> emotional. <laughs> Holy cow. You're not gonna be able to play much of his, that call. He was hyped. <laughs> <laughs> what happened last night was huge for me. I'm trying to stay pretty level-headed. Last night, it just wasn't going to happen. You know? Zabin has got a, a rare size athleticism combination. So we'll get back to six this year. Fon said this kid's workout was one of the best he's ever seen. Hey, bro, just trade it up for your corner. Yeah, I love you guys, man. I'm always to work. Love you, too, and looking forward to seeing you here in person, man. Control it. Good. Use that lane. Aggressive. Aggressive. Well, you walk into Cardinals headquarters and you can't help but notice spring is upon us. It's late April. The flowers are blooming, the birds are chirping, and there's the hint of change in the air. It is draft day 2021, and we'll find out in a matter of a few hours when the Cardinals are on the clock with their first round pick. The 2021 NFL draft is now officially open. <laughs> Three quarterbacks, each Chicago to go up and get one. Dallas and Patriots are the only, the only ones that I have a concern. Slater will come off these next two picks. The only thing is if you just gotta be prepared if we get stuck and Patriots take the linebacker. Hopefully the Patriots take the Alabama quarterback. Who'd they take? Let me see who's on. Bam. The linebacker, Mac Jones. Quarterback. Got it. Wow, it is, it is. Mac Jones. All right, boys, we're going to make the pick. Yeah, here we go. Let's roll. Hello. Zavin. Steve Kime. Steve, how's it going? Good, man. You got some dogs in the background? What do you, what do you got going on there? Steve, <laughs> how's, it, how's it going? Stop, stop, stop. I didn't tell you I was picking you yet, man. Tell him to calm down a little bit. Oh, my God. <laughs> All my family's here. You ready to roll? Steve, we're going to kill everyone. <laughs> We're going to kill everyone. I like it. I like it, man. Keep that mentality. And we're going to get a Super Bowl ring so big on our on our finger that a show dog wouldn't be able to jump over. I love it, man. I love it. Well, good. Well, keep that attitude. Keep that chip on your shoulder. Thank you so much. You got it. Hey, listen, I'm going to put you on with Coach and then, uh, and then Michael Bidwar, owner, OK? <laughs> Uh, I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, man. Hey, listen, congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. Talk to you soon, buddy. David. Yes. Hey, it's Coach Kingsbury. What's happening, man? How's it going? How's it going? I'm, I'm good. Probably not as good as you, though. Congrats. We are, uh, we're fired up, man. Get ready to come in and, and get going, too. There ain't no red shirt, all right? No, there's no red shirt and we're gonna go in there and we're gonna kill it brother. <laughs> it's your time brother congrats man we're fired up i'm gonna hand you to our owner michael bidwell zavin michael bidwell congratulations we're so excited to make you a cardinal okay okay thank enjoy you. it all right we're, we're gonna, gonna put your name in now thank okay you so thanks much. you're welcome thank you. enjoy it <laughs> Woo, that was emotional <laughs> holy cow with the 16th pick in the 2021 nfl draft the Arizona Cardinals select Zavin Collins, linebacker, Tulsa. Yeah, I mean, one of the most impressive guys we interviewed, valedictorian and was a high school quarterback. I believe his team played in the state championship too. They didn't get recruited by anybody. Right, Tulsa was the only school because it was such a small town. What was the name of this? H Hominy, Hominy, uh, Oklahoma. Rob Fredrickson said, I love that pick. You must have let Mike will finally make it. <laughs> this is a jumbo athlete who does some rare things when you watch him in coverage. Some people have compared him. They see a little bit of Erlacher when you 
I got it right here on my phone. I told Billy and Vance, I said, starter day one. Right here back, starter day one. You got it, big, fast, and smart. Put that on camera, guys. You hype, bro? Perfect. And I, I told him a hundred times, I said, you gotta get with VJ and you have got to this off season, you've got to be dialed in and know everything. That's, uh, that's like two trees in the middle of the field. All right, brother, well, congrats again, man. Oh, okay, well, call, yep, absolutely. Talk to you. All right, boys, congratulations. Okay, yeah. he's in Tulsa? We're gonna he's in Tulsa, yeah. Perfect. What we thought we would do, we think we flew over Hominy. Oh yeah? Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask if we can stay low, and I wanna turn over the football field. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. You ready to roll? Ready to roll. Okay, super. I'm still kinda of in disbelief. Are you? Yeah, it's pretty crazy, you know? You guys will see my hometown. You'll be like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you guys will be like, this is out in the middle of nowhere. But here we go, so here it is. Yeah, so you can see how many football there, field there, just south of that. Bottom side, you can see the baseball, of course, the softball field. And then to the right of it is the basketball gym. And we're about to fly over the lake right now. The lake's probably my favorite place out of the whole, out of all of Omni. I spent a lot of time out here at this lake. I've never seen how many from this view before. This is the first time. It's been a great day so far. I don't know if we can, I don't, it, it's gonna be hard, hard pressed to get any better. What happened last night was huge for me. Um, I usually don't celebrate too much or, or like to get, get too emotional over my goals. Um, try to stay pretty level headed. Last night it just wasn't gonna happen, you know. I, uh, that's something I worked for for a long time, put a lot of effort, time, sacrifice. You know, football's life, football's everything. It's wired into you, it's, it's injected into your DNA. So um, to be able to play at the next level, that was a big one for me, you know. And I wanted to be here in Arizona. Every call we had with, with, with Steve and, uh, you know, Coach Kingsbury, and I said, listen guys, there's nowhere else I want to go. Man, it's warm here. It feels great to, you know, get to call this home. I love it already. I've only been here for 10 minutes, so it's awesome. How great is this? This is nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Right. Did you spend much time out here? Uh, no, this is the first time I've been here. Like, this is the longest period of time I've been here. Yeah. yeah. So good. Oh, it's so nice. Grass fields. Yeah. We were just in the bubble checking yeah, that, that whole thing out. Yeah, it was dope. What's up, man? How's it going? Good, brother. Great. <laughs> How you been? Good. Appreciate good. it. Good. Thank you. I feel great. Trip. It was great. It was beautiful. Did fly you yeah, he did. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it was dope. It was, it was insane. He, like, took us by hominy. You know, my hometown like banked it to where we could like look out. We were like, felt like we were barely off the ground. It was nuts. That's awesome. How's it going, Coach? Man, glad Zayman. you're here, man. Yeah, I'm really glad, glad to be here. here. I'm excited. How's the ride out here? Good? It was great. Who yeah. Came, who came with you? you had a uh, big just, group last night. Yeah, big group last night. It was just me today. Just you? I had to go solo on this one. It's your show, bro. Yeah. Let's thank go. you. Thank you. Done, I'm excited. Man. Thank you. Yeah. How's it going? Man, how you doing, buddy? Good. 
Zaylin. Welcome to Arizona. Pleasure to have you. Appreciate it. Thank We're you. Look forward to working with you. Yes, sir. Great job yesterday. This is dope. This is sick. Making my way downtown. Have you been out here before? No, sir. It's my first time. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I kind of messed that one up. It's harder than you think to ride on some of these footballs. I think I've got most everything, but like I said, we wouldn't keep it too long. We'll get you, you know, squared away with a locker. Mm -hmm. Excited to have you. Excited to have you in the building. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank I'm you so much. I, lo I love hearing, hearing your, your uh, conversation with Steve and all that. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> you guys like that? <laughs> Saban has got a, a rare uh, size, speed, athleticism combination, and it actually is, he's a little bit of a throwback in his size. He's got the size of the old school linebackers, but he got a speed and a quickness of, of the new ones. For starters here, Zabin is number 23, playing a weak side linebacker position, so what I'm looking at, what I'm evaluating, and what you have here is you're going to have a tackle pull. But most of the time in the linebacker world, one of the two guards is the puller. What gets difficult for inside linebackers when they're stacked is to see a tackle pull. And the rate and the speed at which Zavin does this is what I'm, I'm looking for. So when Zavin sees the pull, uh, I want to see how long it takes him to actually recognize that he's got to go over a whole nother gap. And as you see at the last second here, it's, and this is good timing, he knows that he's got to go and he also knows somebody's going to be waiting on him. So not only am I looking at how quick he could diagnose his play, I now go to the next phase of seeing how is he going to defeat this block. So as this block comes over, you can see Zavin easily sidesteps it, uses his hands, which is good. So I want both efficient footwork and I'm looking for hand placement. And then now I want him to understand as he's pursuing and he's over top of his gap that he is a cutback player. And right here you can see he squares back up, keeps his helmet on the back side of him and makes a great play here. So in this one play, I've learned three things about Zabin. One, his key in diagnose to recognize a puller is strong. Two, the block destruction point, another plus. And then three, the efficient footwork in the hole to stay in his cutback angle and now make the tackle. Now, I take a quick look at the sideline angle when I'm looking at inside linebackers to see what kind of structure and coverage concept they're in. And then I try to unwind what is job or role in this particular play. So now we're looking at a screen play. So he sees that screen about as quick as you can see it. As soon as that running back gave it away, he was there. Now he's got a crack block, so now the block destruction phase. Again, he does a nice job of shaving it to make sure he can get in front of this. Now again, how bent kneed, how bent bodied is he? Does he run through the tackle? How strong are his hands and arms in his wrap? Again, he checked every box on this play. My father being, you know, running drafts for years, and I've, I've, since I was in high school, I've, I've been a part of the draft. I know it's such a crapshoot. You have no idea how it's going to unfold. Was I hoping he was there? Absolutely. And I was glad he was. We're making a concerted effort to get intelligent, high football IQ players. And Zaven and Isaiah in the middle, uh, all the inside backers, they're the quarterbacks to our defense. Thank God we have the offseason. Thank God we're going to have a rookie camp. Last year was so hard on Isaiah. That was all the rookies, they were robbed of those chances to, to really absorb immense amount of information. And I can tell right now of all, you know, he'll be a very quick learner and hopefully we have the reps on the field to where that, that actually goes even faster. Steven, you ready to get the show on the road? Day two of the 2020 NFL Draft is now officially open. Two picks. Probably going more at the return ability. Is that your guy? Rondell Moore, the wide out kick returner. Vertical jump like 42 and a half inches. He looked like well, light. He's a, he's a dog. Like, yeah. He's going to come in and think he's the man, be a pro. When, when the ball's in his hands, he is special, special. Got the return ability. Immediate impact, return ability. He'll be ready to roll. Kyler Murray's going to be happy. Why is that? He loves this guy. Hello? 
Rondale. Yes, sir. Steve Kime, Arizona Cardinals. How you doing? Good, man. How are you? Good, man. You ready to come out to the desert? No doubt. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, so this is the 49th uh, pick, and we're going to make the selection. Excited about you, man. Think you can come out here and contribute right away. And our quarterback, Kyler Murray, is a big fan of yours. No doubt. Got to uh, see him a little bit of action. Well, good, man. Well, I want you to uh, celebrate with your family. I'm going to let you uh, talk to our head coach, Cliff Kingsbury. Rondell. How you doing? I'm great, man. I'm, I'm a lot better now than we got you. How you feeling? No doubt, man. I'm good, man. I just want to say I appreciate it. Hey, we're, we're ready to roll, man. The things we'll be able to do with you in the offense, I cannot wait to get you here. So congratulations, man. It's uh, well-deserved, well and we love everything about you. With the 29th pick, and the 20th, 21th round, the Arizona Cardinals select, Rondell Moore. Yep. It's good. Tough kid. You'll be able to do some fun and shit with him. Oh, he's about that, that business. He'll come in ready to work. There you go, Cliff. Hey, good job. It's big time. You guys did it all. Hey, how exciting of a day is this for you? Very. Um, obviously, it's something you work for your whole life, so probably the most exciting day for me. The third day of the 2021 NFL Draft is now officially open. Federer. All right, uh, call you back. Baltimore said they're fourth for next year's three, straight up, nothing this year from us. Is that anything that worked? Is it just a little bit of We did our fifth and next year's fourth. Baltimore's pick and their sixth, but it's pretty even. I think that's we pick up this year's six. Yeah, we get their yes, this year's six back. And their six back this year, yep. you said? <laughs> so then we would have, okay. If not, maybe they can send us a pick next year instead of this year's six. That might be something one way to do it. So they're open to get three. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, I like that. Hey. Yes. We'll do the deal. Okay. Steve, is that on, on the table, right? Yeah. Yep. So we get back to six this year. Fon said this kid's workout was one of the best he's ever seen. Is the Florida kid? Yeah. They played him every. They played him outside, inside. He was. They said he was the smartest guy on their defense, so they had to had to use him some as a nickel. So, we're, we're, yeah. Yes. All right, Nick, we'll do it. So, again, we're giving you five, 160, and four in 2022. We are getting from you four, 136, and six, 210. Good. Deal. All right, we're calling it in now. Hello. Marco, Steve Kime with the Cardinals. How you doing? Good, man. Uh, we are, we have traded up uh, from our fifth round pick to uh, to pick 136 with the Ravens, and we're going to select you here. I know it's been a long Sounds way. Good. You fired up, ready to go? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. It's in. Great, good job. It's huge. Exactly. Good job. Good job, baby. That's the plan. NFL draft. The Arizona Cardinals select Marco Wilson. I thought Demi Cagey was a little more like, uh, sort of like a Marcus Golden type. When they're on her size, powerful. Go with the Duke guy. Where are you going? Duke. Victor, Dean, Luke, KG. Hello. Victor. Yes, sir. Steve Kime with the Cardinals. How you doing? I'm doing well. How you doing? Good, man. So we're going to select you here with the 210th pick. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. We're fired up, man. The type of uh, competitor you are, um, the way they talk about you at Duke, man, you're going to be a great piece of this organization. So you excited? Yes, sir. I'm excited. Man. I'm ready to get to work. 
G. G. Hey, talk to me about the Central Florida kid. Tay, uh, Tay Gowan. A 6'1 corner that can fly. Can fly. Charlie, you send me the number. Tay Gowan. Tay. I want to hug you right now. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hey, we're fired up, man. Uh, we, we were really impressed by the workout, and obviously the press man stuff is phenomenal, and we like doing a lot of that. So we couldn't be more fired up, man. Congratulations. Hard work pays off, and can't wait to get you here. You excited? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't wait. Congratulations. We're so excited to have you join us as a Cardinal, and uh, you're going to love the room. You're going to love your coaches. Yes, sir. Thank you. I want to say thank you to the whole staff. I love you guys, man. I'm ready to work. Love you, too, and looking forward to seeing you here in person, man. All right. Take yes, care. Thank you. He said, <laughs> he's so fired up. <laughs> if the safety now, because that would be another young kid that can play teams. And, um, yep, boy, yes. okay. James. Hey, how you doing? Steve Kime with the Cardinals. Hey, how you doing? Good, man. We're sitting here uh, with a 243rd pick, and we're going to go ahead and select you. So Thank you so much. You're a cardinal, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hello? Michael. Steve Keim, Cardinals. Yeah, how you doing? You doing all right? Yes, sir. Well, good, man. We're at the 247th pick, and we're about to select you. That's awesome. Yeah, Thank man. Thank you. We're excited. Okay. Center. Penn State. It's in. You know, the Cardinals have had a great offseason. They've added some really good pieces. Sign me up. That is fun stuff. I thought that was a really strong draft here when you look at it for the Arizona Cardinals. He's got athleticism. He's got good size. I know that you like him from your time watching Tulsa games, so it's a good sign if you like him. We know about DeAndre Hopkins. Talked about A.J. Green. I think the pick at 49 in the second round of Rondell Moore is going to make a difference. You mentioned Zayvon Collins up at the top. I, I love his game. You look at what they did later in the draft. James Wick is out of Cincinnati. Excellent pickup. Bearcat secondary is right up there with the Aztecs and what they can do. And Michael Manette, he has a wrestling background. He grew into his body at Penn State. So he's able to lock and turn these, these defenders. Linebacker out of Tulsa who I have had my eyes on since I seen Tulsa play. <laughs> yeah. I said Zayvon Collins is a play maker. I think, you know, they had one of the best off seasons and then followed that up with a tremendous draft. Like I said before, I believe that Xavier Collins is, is the best, you know, defender in this in this um, draft. They got him. They got J.J. Watt. They got Chandler Jones coming back. They were able to get a guy like Rondell Moore that's going to be a nightmare in space. Top to bottom, the Cardinals have had a great off season, and I think they're going to be one of those teams that takes the next step. And by the way, it has the feel of a group that's going for it. They really sold out, and I think they're going for it this year, which they should do. Big weekend. Rookie minicamp begins on Friday, extends through the weekend, but the first opportunity for this rookie class that get a taste of what the National Football League is like, something last year's rookie class did not receive. Yeah, night and day from a year ago, so this is a golden opportunity because it's needed. Definitely excited to go out there and learn and just figuring out where my role is. How's it feel looking at your NFL locker? Dope. I'm sleeping here tonight. <laughs> oh, look at this. I'm gonna you can go on record and say this. Cause these things are like, they're, they make two of them for each college locker room. And that's not the truth, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Cause people are, 30 minutes after the game, still trying to find a pair of these. <laughs> That's nuts. I'm sure mine will go missing soon. I'm so excited. I don't even think I'm going to ever leave the facilities. Like, I might stay there. Um, this is my long life dream, and I'm about to take fully advantage of it. Just trying to use this time to just perfect the installs and, and, and get to know the defense really good and just show the, just the coaches what I could do. Yeah, I'm grateful um, that I ended up here and definitely excited. Uh, to go out there and, and learn, and hopefully I can go out there and just sh show them I'm exactly who everyone says I am. Just me down here? He said no fast 
No fast packs, but I need these for me. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Time to work. Time to go to work. Come on, man. Everything you do counts. Everything counts. Do it right. Full speed. Little things, man. Start from the day one, the little things. Ball security. Set. Go. There you go, roll it. Good. Opposite peck when you go down. Opposite peck, roll it over. Don't expose it. Punch down at it, punch. Marco, so what he's saying is when that hand goes down, roll this ball to the opposite peck. That way it's not exposed for him to get it. Come on, Rondell. Hey, AJ. Hey, you and Rondell for the last time now, I'm going to tell you guys, stop brother law Do the right technique. OK, I get it. He's your brother. Hey, don't brother law Try to get that ball out. You good? Stein. Drop the ball. Offense is there. Defense is there. Let's go on the hop. Andy, come on. Let's try. Come on. Transition. Transition. Come on. Come on. Transition. 32, 33. 20 at the nickel. Slow, slow. You got to be what? Slow to go. Slow to go. Slow to go. Who's going to probably be the vertical? Your point, man. Good. Be loud. Turn around. Set the front. Set it. Loud. Right, right, right. Come on. Be loud and confident. Call it. Slow to go, slow to go, slow to go, slow to go. Eyes on that outside hip. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep your depth, Marco. Keep your depth. Marco, Marco, keep your depth early. Make sure we're, hold on, hold on. Stay right where you're at. Look inside. Guys, stay in your stance. Zavin, you're illegal. You got to move up a little bit. You see how his outside foot's back and it's here? Your inside foot has got to be aligned with his inside foot or else you're not going to be legal. Here we go. Hard step, get that hard step. Hard step, find him, find him. Man, hey, good job, 30, cutting that split. That's what I'm talking about, 3 0. Good job, son. All we're doing is steer. Just steer him. Control it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Control it. Good. Use that length. Use that length. Stick it out there. Don't lay it on him. Don't pet him. Don't pet him. Side burden. Set. Hit. Let's go. Go, go, go. In the V. Uh, one, two, three. Get out. Get in the V. Aggressive, aggressive. Go. Stick with it, fellas. Stick with it. Build from the ground up. Fundamentals. Fundamentals. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to play through the mistakes. We're about to see 11 and 10 personnel. We didn't show you 10 out there. Set the front, figure out where your safety rotation is, and we'll play from there. So step, step, replace, be physical. Here we go. Good spacing, footwork. Be proud of your feet. Be an athlete. Six man. There you go. Good. Way better. Way better. Way better. Catch your breath, you got about 15 seconds. Zaven, set it, set it, set it. Hey, run, run, run. There it is. Hey, go ball security, ball security. Finish, finish, finish eight three. Finish eight three. Good job. Drop your bags, drop your bags. Stein. O and D, O and D, O and D. I was sort pleased with how that, that thing ended last year, and we wanted to, to improve through the draft, and, and Steve made that crystal clear to the coaching staff and personnel department. Those first two picks need to, to play and play early and play a lot, and, and that was the mission, and I feel good about where it's at. The draft is a lifeblood of the organization, and we do have to be successful. Uh, we're excited about it. it. certainly puts us in a good position moving forward.